Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Everything and the Kitchen Sink. Some of you might have been on here before, and some of you might have come over from my podcast. I was doing a podcast for a while, and I kept on forgetting, or didn't feel up to doing it. I had to have this huge setup that had like um, micro a microphone and stuff. Uh, which I might do with this to have better sound quality, but uh, right now I'm just not going to do the setup. And I think it would be easier this way. Like, I have my phone if I need to just hop on real quick to um, upload a video or something or just show you guys something. And then I also have my computer, which I'm filming on right now. So that'll give me a little bit more flexibility and... The platform that I'm using to to uh, talk to you guys so and if you hear any noises in the background first of all our dryer is on so that might be what you hear and second of all my cat is playing in the background so um yeah um just don't just try to ignore it anyway um basically this vlog is going to be a bunch of different things um like my podcast I want to talk a little bit about what I'm reading the shows I'm watching and maybe make some suggestions. Um, I also want to talk about crafts that I've been doing um, with the kids that I nanny and also keep you guys updated on our adoption process. So um, if you guys didn't know, we're actually in, in the adoption process. Um, we are getting our home study done and we're going to adopt from uh, like domestic adoption um, we actually have done foster care before, as you probably know from my other videos, and um, that was just really hard on us emotionally, mentally, um, and we decided that when we took the first class here in Virginia to um, be foster parents again, we just remembered all the trauma and them leaving and like not knowing from one day to the next if they're going to stay or not, and just decided that we can't put ourselves through that again. So, um, we decided to adopt instead, um, go straight to adoption. So we're getting our adoption home study done and taking classes uh, for that online, filling out all kinds of papers and answering all kinds of questions. Um, and so that's been really fun. And basically what I wanna do is make this channel a bunch of random stuff, which is called which is why it's called everything and the kitchen sink um, because there's just going to be random stuff. So um, basically I wanted to talk to you guys about the crafts that I've been doing. So um, I'm obsessed with Pinterest and I have like a bajillion pins. I know that's not a real number, but I'm pretty sure that's how many I have on there. And um, I have not done very many of them. I have to confess. Um, the like dinner ones, cooking, we've done quite a few. Instant pot, we've done quite a few. But just when it comes to like making stuff and DIY and doing crafts for kids, it just, I just haven't gotten to it. So I've been trying to figure out a way that I could do the crafts that would like motivate me to do more. So I thought that I would do them and then talk about them on here. So I also want to talk about that. And then just probably random things, keep you guys updated of what's going on in our lives uh, to a certain extent. I obviously don't want to put everything on here, um, but a lot of things I will talk to you guys about. So um, that's just our dryer, pay no mind. Um, so basically, um, first one I want to talk about is what I'm reading. Um, I am in the middle of Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. It's, I'm actually tried it, um, on, like, the, uh, ebook, and then I, it was funny, but I couldn't really get into it for some reason, and then I had heard that somebody else had that problem, so they tried the audiobook, which is actually, um, read by Tina Fey, so it's it's really good. She said she couldn't get into it until she listened to the um, audio version, so that's what I decided to do, and it is hilarious. Um, 
probably where I'm going to say rated PG-13. Um, it's Tina Fey, so you know, Saturday Night Live type of humor and language and stuff like that. So just probably don't listen to it with your kids around, but it's really funny. Then I was re uh, listening to a book called Esperanza Rising, which is a middle grade book. And it's really cool. It was um, pretty language, and the chapter titles were in Spanish, which I thought was really cool. But after a little while, I kind of lost interest. Um, so I decided just to return it to the library, because there's other stuff that I wanted to read that I was more interested in. So, um, anywho, also, uh, Frying Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. I started reading that. Same thing, like, it was funny, and there were lots of one-liners, but that I would, um, excuse me, I would put it away and, like, forget that I had it, and keep forgetting that I had it. Like, I enjoyed the experience while I was reading it, but then, um, if I just, like, put it away for the day, I would forget that I had it. So I was like, this is probably, I think I really wanted to like it more than anything else, because my grandma loved the movie, and... Um, I don't know if she ever read the book or not, but, uh, she loved the movie, and I think I just wanted to, um, like it more than I actually did, and then I decided it probably wasn't worth it if I was just leaving it to the side and forgetting about it. So I returned it to the library. Um, I'm also in the middle of reading 112263. That is also really good. Um, language, again little bit adults themed um but it's really good so far I actually bought the ebook for my birthday thanks to my brother for my gift card um oh, finally that loud dryer went off um so anyway um i am also reading so we watched the movie lion um i don't know if you guys have seen it but i highly recommend it um it's about a little boy who gets adopted from India and his story and how he gets to um, be on the streets and stuff like that. How did... Okay, my cat just jumped up on the counter. <laughs> I don't know how he did that. He's never done that before. <laughs> there he is. That's Spartan. Anywho, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I had to get him off the counter. I do not want him on there. I don't know how he did that. He jumped from the floor up to the counter. He's never done that before. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I decided to read the book. So far, I've only read the um, introduction to it. Uh, it seems so good so far. I'm probably going to have to renew it because this is what I do. I list, like, five books. Or I list, like, I have a list of, like, a hundred books I want to read right now, but I pick out five that I, like, really want to read, and then I borrow them, and usually it's, like, they're on hold or something. They all seem to come in at the same time. Either they're available to borrow, like, right away, and so I get them, or they're on hold, and, um, I put them, you know, I put myself on the list, and they all come in at the same time. So I'm, like, in the middle of, like, five or six books, <laughs> like, like, I have to prioritize which ones I want to finish, so I might borrow, um, The Long Way Home, which is the name of the book about the kid from, um, the, the movie The Lion, and his story, I might have to borrow that another time when I'm not in the middle of all my other holds. Um, also Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, I mean, I'm listening to that on audio, it's really good, um, so far, and kind of reminds me of, like, Jane Eyre or something. Um, so if you like Jane Eyre, I would recommend that one. Um, as far as watching, we just started a new show called Ghosted. It's got, um, Craig Robinson from The Office in it, which he's hilarious, and Adam Scott. Um, it's really, it's good so far. It's funny. Um, and so I was, for some reason, when I wasn't feeling good, I was, like, craving a really cheesy, um, Disney TV show. I don't know why, it just, <laughs> they make me feel better, I guess. Um, and, what? It's just my cat. Hold on one second. 
I think he wants to say hello to the camera. Hello, everybody. My name's Spartan, and I'm being annoying to my mommy. <laughs> um, anywho, um, just, uh, so I saw that there was Casey undercover, which, um, is star Zendaya, and it's also produced by her, so I thought that was pretty cool. She was 19 when she did that, um, and I was very impressed by that, so I decided to start watching it, and boy, did it deliver on the cheesy Disney <laughs> TV shows, uh, that I was craving, but it's, it's funny, it's cheesy, there's puns, like, it's, the acting is just very Disney Channel-ish, um, but if you just need, like, a show that you could just, like, relax, laugh, and not have to think about too much, I would recommend that one, too. And it's good, I would say, um, probably, I don't know, watch it before you decide what age, but I would say for, like, eight and up, it's probably good. Um, so, and apparently you could be 33 and still enjoy it. <laughs> so, okay, so right here. I have one of the crafts that I made. Um, this is my little, I, I do um, acrylic pour painting, and I will pop the link down in the description of my Etsy store, because I also sell those. And right now, everyone, every dollar of every painting bought, except for shipping and handling, because obviously we use that towards shipping and handling, um, goes to our adoption fund. So if you guys want to click down in the link to my Etsy shop to buy one of my paintings, all the proceeds will go to our adoption fund. <laughs> so um, sometimes I do acrylic pours or I have done one through a colander. I didn't really care for the way it turned out personally. But anyway, so this is the craft that I made. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see, but just ignore my cat. He's being really annoying right now. Ouch. He's trying to climb up me. Um, this, the plastic eggs in here do not, is, is not part of the craft. I just, I'm a nanny, so I just kind of, when I was done with my work, I just kind of threw everything in this little colander. But, um, so what I made is, um, I sort of came up with this idea on my own, but sort of came up with it from online. Like, I, I combined my own imagination with some Pinterest stuff, so... Basically what I did is um, I cut these about six inch long um, strands of yarn, yellow yarn, from to make spaghetti, spaghetti noodles. Um, I did a bunch of them, so I have a bunch of spaghetti here. Then I took red yarn and I wound it up in little balls, as you can see, um, and made me balls to go with my spaghetti. Ow! That was my cat trying to climb up my leg. Stop. Um, then I took some felt, I got three colors, or maybe I got four colors. I think I got a dark brown too, but I didn't make anything with that. I didn't know what to make, so, I, um, anyway, this is light brown. As you can see, I made a mushroom. I made a few of those. And then this is light green. I made a pepper, like a slice of a pepper. And then this is, um... This is yellow. I made another slice of pepper. So basically, what I did, um, I cut, I don't know, these were probably maybe a foot long. Um, they come undone, just to warn you. Sometimes they come undone, you have to re-wind um, them. But, uh, like, maybe a foot of red yarn, wound it around, made a little ball. And then, again, six inches of yellow yarn to make the spaghetti. And then for the felt, I just got the different colors. They're like 25 cents at Walmart. And I just drew like the shape of a mushroom or the shape of a pepper slice on the felt and then cut it out with scissors. Um, so I had this all ready to go. Just threw it in the colander and brought it to work. Um, and then if obviously if you're at home with kids, you can just, these colanders are like 94 cents at Walmart. You can just get one of these, throw the stuff inside, and your kids can have fun pretending they're making their spaghetti in the color. Um, so then, another thing I made, the little boy that I babysit, um, 
I'll just, I'm just gonna call him A because I don't want to give his real name on uh, in public. <laughs> but A and his brother is E because that's what their names start with. But um, he decided that he really needed to make a jetpack so that he could fly up into the sky and catch a chickadee. That was his reasoning. Um, guys, I got stories about this kid. He's hilarious. Um, he comes up with some really funny things. He's super smart, sometimes too smart, and um, he just, I, I got stories. I have to tell you guys another time, but anyhow, um, he decided that he needed to make a jetpack, so he's like, can you draw one? Can you pull up a picture on your phone and draw one? Um, he's five. Obviously, he knows you gotta pull up pictures of things on your phone <laughs> and draw one for me, so I did, and then I let him color it the different colors. And then he wanted to make one, but he wanted to make a real one out of metal. And I was like, I don't know where your metal is. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Maybe you can do it with your dad. But how about this? I'll go home and I'll make you one. And all this time, I had seen one on Pinterest and I had this idea. So I knew basically what I was going to do. So um, here's what I made. I don't know how well you can see it, but this is the actual one I made. I took two soda bottles, um, and the, the ones that are about this side, and I wrapped them completely in duct tape. You can do, I, I had black on hand, so I just did black. You can do any color you want. You can do silver. Um, I actually wrote his name in a silver marker on it so that he would know, like, it's his jetpack, and then, um, taped them together, obviously, in the middle. And then put, um, with some, uh, what's that kind of tape? Oh, packing tape on the, packaging tape on the bottom. Um, I taped some, you can see right here, some tissue paper in place that was orange, yellow, and red to represent flames. And then, um, I put, we got a couple of pieces of, short pieces of rope. And just cut off maybe like two feet sections, two foot sections, and tape them onto the bottle. And those are his shoulder straps. Um, so it was actually, I mean, it took me like, I'm going to say all together about two hours to make. Just taping it all together, um, the putting the straps on, getting the straps ready, putting the pieces of, like cutting the pieces of tissue paper putting them in there. Um, it might have taken less than that. I I don't know because I did it in more than one sitting, but um, that's what he did. And at first he was like, oh, I wanted a real jetpack that can really go up into the sky. And then I was like, okay, I'll just keep the jetpack. And then he was like, no, no, I want it. So now he loves it. And apparently uh, the other day he took it to the park with <laughs> his mom told me. Um, so I was excited that he liked it. But anyway, that's pretty easy to make. Um, I told you all the things. The pin, the pin I found about it, it didn't actually tell you what you needed for it. So I just kind of guessed um, by the picture. And I just used, again, those, um, I believe they're two liter soda bottles. Two of those that, they have to be the same size. Otherwise, it looks, it doesn't look right. Um, tissue paper, red orange and yellow, preferably to represent flame, but you guys can, if you want to make different color flames, go for it. You could also do construction paper. You could like cut out the shape of a flame and tape it in there. And then again, I use the packaging tape to keep the flames in the um, mouth of the bottle. And then I just took rope about this long. You kind of have to, I measured to my own shoulders and then went a little bit smaller because he's a five-year-old. Um, so I don't know exactly how long maybe a foot or two, a foot and a half, I would say. And then I taped one end to the top of the bottle and one end to the bottom of the bottle, and those were the shoulder straps. So it works really well. Um, duct tape holds it together really well. And yeah, he really, really enjoyed that. So um, I hope you guys try out these things and that you have success. And um, I would love if you commented and told me um, if you do try to make it, how it went and how yours turned out. So that's it for today. That was a pretty long one. Um, they're not always going to be this long, but 
Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this and that you get some great ideas of stuff to do with your kids or kids you're babysitting or just cooking and baking and actually using some of the pins on your um, Pinterest boards. <laughs> so um, I will talk to you guys again hopefully soon. I'm going to hopefully do these vlogs like once or twice a week. I'm going to put it on my little schedule, daily schedule so that I don't forget to do it, and um, I'm going to make it a priority to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!